Welcome to class 23 of our intermediate level refrigeration and air conditioning course. In this opportunity, we are going to talk about the R1234YF refrigerant gas and its working pressures. Let's start by saying that years ago, R12 refrigerant gas was substituted for use in automotive air conditioning and other applications because it depleted the ozone layer. The replacement gas for R12 was R134A. However, Currently environmental standards are more demanding. And although Rhone 134A was considered an ecological gas because it did not destroy the ozone layer, this refrigerant does contribute to increasing the Earth's temperature because it has a global warming potential of 1430. This GWP value makes it affected by the current ecological restrictions. For this reason, Rhone 134A is no longer used in new vehicle models and has been replaced for years in various regions by R1234GF. R1234GF has pressures extremely similar to Rhone 134A and is also a refrigerant produced from a single gas. Therefore, recharging in case of leaks is problem-free, which is very important for vehicle applications. R1234GF has a negligible GWP D4, providing substantially lower direct greenhouse gas emissions than Rhone 134A systems. In this way it significantly reduces the carbon footprint of refrigeration systems throughout their life cycle. But all is not perfect with R1234GF as it is slightly flammable and has an ASHRAE safety rating of A12. Although in reality, R1234GF gas is difficult to ignite and has a slow flame spread of 1.5 cm per second. Its toxicity was even evaluated in independent laboratories and the result was a toxicity similar to that of Rhone 134A. Another drawback of the R1234 Light F is its high price, although as it becomes more popular it should become a bit cheaper. Now, we are going to see the working pressures of R1234 GF. On the screen we have the table of pressure and temperature of the refrigerant gas R1234 GF. We are going to study the most used pressure. In this case, R1234GF refrigerant gas is mainly used in automotive air conditioning. And some manufacturers are using this gas in their chiller type water chillers. So, for example, for an evaporator temperature of 6 degrees Celsius, typical of these applications, about 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the table, it has an absolute pressure of 56.56 psi. Like the table value, it refers to absolute values. We must subtract from this value, the atmospheric pressure, of the place where the equipment is located, which for this case we are going to take a value of 14.7 psi as atmospheric pressure. Subtracting 56.56 psi minus 14.7 psi gives a gauge pressure for the evaporator of 41.86 psi ng. Since R1234GF is used in automotive air conditioning, it must be said that the pressure that we have just shown can occur with the motor vehicle idling, since when the vehicle accelerates, if the compressor is coupled to the engine by a belt, the compressor goes spin faster and system pressure will drop because refrigerant suction increases. Another pressure that is interesting to know is the high or condenser pressure. For this we are going to take the temperature of the environment and we are going to increase it by a value of 15 degrees. So for example, for an ambient temperature of 30 degrees we increase by 15 degrees to find the average temperature of the condenser. Looking in the table we obtain for a condensing temperature of 46 degrees, about 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit, an absolute pressure of 173.75 PSIG. Like the table value, it refers to absolute values. We must subtract from this value, the atmospheric pressure, of the place where the equipment is located, which for this case we are going to take a value of 14.7 psi, as atmospheric pressure. By subtracting 173.75 psi minus 14.7 psi, a manometer pressure for the evaporator of 159.5 psi is obtained. It is important to mention that this pressure also depends on the position of the accelerator of the car, therefore, 
when accelerating the engine if the compressor is coupled by belts, the pressure of high will increase because the refrigerant gas discharge to the condenser will increase. Now my partner Paco is going to list the most important features of the R1234YS. Go ahead Paco with the explanation. Let's start by saying that R1234YF refrigerant gas is an HFO refrigerant that replaces Rhone 134A in air conditioning equipment of new car models. The main features of the R1234YF are 1. Like all HFO refrigerants, R1234YF has non-ozone depleting and has a low GWP at only 4. Chill. R1234YF refrigerant has high thermal and chemical stability, low toxicity and is slightly flammable, as well as having excellent compatibility with most materials. 3. The safety classification of R1234YF refrigerant is at 2L. 4. R1234YF refrigerant is miscible with synthetic pro polyester oils and PAG polyalkyl glycols, so it should always be used with this type of oil. 5. It is important to mention that R1234YF refrigerant is also used in water chillers, chillers, in the industrial and commercial sectors. 6. As of January 1, 2018, in many areas it is mandatory for vehicle manufacturers to use R1234YF in automotive air conditioning systems. 7. The law requires the use of a refrigerant with a GWP less than 150 in automotive air conditioning systems. Currently R1234YF is the best alternative. 8. It is known that HFC refrigerants can remain in the atmosphere for years while R1234F has a life measured in just days. 9. The evaporators of the systems for R1234F must be more robust than those used with Rhone 134A. 10. Kilogram of R1234YF is much more expensive than Rhone 134A. 11. The internal components of a system that works with R1234YF must be designed to minimize the production of sparks. 12. Systems designed to work with R1234YF must not be redesigned or replaced with Rhone 134A. 13. The heat transfer coefficient of R1234YF refrigerant is 18 to 21 percent less than that of Rhone 134A. 14. The pressure drop of R1234YF is 20 to 24 percent less than that of Rhone 134A during the condensation and evaporation processes. 15. The COP coefficient of performance of R1234YF is lower than that of Rhone 134A, between 1, 3, and 5 percent. That is very close. 16. Although R1234YF is slightly flammable, it is difficult to ignite and has a slow spread of flame. In addition, its toxicity was evaluated in independent laboratories and the result was a toxicity similar to that of 134A. Thanks for joining us.